last time on Lovers Aboard Odessa. Our boat is currently three hours away from where we live. So before COVID, we were taking weekend trips at a time. Um, and now we can't do that or we don't feel comfortable doing that because we don't want to stay in hotels and things like that. So when all of this started to transpire, we were just sort of hit with a, a dilemma of how to move forward. We do have a surprise to show you. This is really um, challenged us in a way where we have sort of had to sit down and troubleshoot how we're gonna do things. We think this is the perfect, perfect um, solution. So without further ado, we have something to show you. Welcome to Lovers Aboard Odessa. I'm Lauren and that's Alexi. And we recently bought a 71 year old vintage wooden yacht. Our plan for the next couple of years is to do a massive restoration and eventually call her home. And while we don't know everything there is to know, and we certainly plan on learning so much, we do know how insanely possible it is to live the life you've always imagined. We're just lovers with a dream, here to inspire you not to give up on yours. To see more of this adventure, follow us on Instagram at Lovers Aboard Odessa. And don't forget, as always, to like, subscribe, and tell us what you think in the comments. Let's dive in. I think we need to just start by removing all the cabinet tops. And while you do that, I'm gonna go test some stains. Is that okay? So this green is our cabinet color. And we tested three different stains, espresso, walnut, and gray. The gray is a joke. I think I'm liking espresso the best. That's our floor, we think. Alexi took off all of the existing tops and we found some wood and he cut new ones and now we're gonna stain them. We found this sink at an auction, it's actually for an RV. Me. So we sanded, stained, polyed, and repeated that process three times um, for all the surfaces. Hello. Oh, myself right here in the chair oh I'm already recording <laughs> when we bought this pop-up camper the guy that we bought it from I mean we got it for super cheap but he told us the only thing it needed were four plastic pieces that go inside the poles and he lied 
Uh, yeah, it pretty much needed. You name it, that's it needed it. <laughs> so, yes, it turned out being a lot more work than we thought. But it's gonna be like brand new when we're finished. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. Um, it just means so much to, to the both of us. Um, yeah, I, I really struggle with showing up and not being hard on myself, um, especially if things are not the way I want them to be as far as perfection goes and um, this is really teaching me to just show up no matter what it looks like what I look like it's never going to be perfect and I just think it's so important I just wanted to share this with you that it's so important that we just show up 
regardless because it's never going to be perfect and perfection is just an insanely unrealistic expectation so we are so excited about um, our little mini series pop-up camper um, I think I said that backwards pop-up camper mini series and we can't wait to show you the guys the final product it's it's amazing so just thank you and we'll see you next week <laughs>